guys, this is Mavrodos Studios, and welcome back. Today, I'm going to be playing The Last Time. This is another short narrative game that I found on Game Jewel. If you would like to check this out for yourself, please visit the description, and you will find a link to go ahead and try this game out for yourself. So, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm very excited to play this. It seems like a fairly interesting game, and everything is done in this sort of pixelized art style. Okay, so once you have finished reading tutorial text or dialogue, click anywhere to move on, okay? Four hours on patrol without a single crime. So we got Darren. Don't you just love nights like this? Hey, you're looking away from the road. You're gonna fucking crash. When presented with multiple dialogue options, click on one to select it. Um, yes. You said it. It's nice to have some peace and quiet. And Jack, I suppose that's me. Darren, it's lucky that we got posted to a rural area. So supposedly um, you follow this guy throughout his life. And I, I guess you just kind of make decisions throughout his life affecting the game and affecting the outcome of different things. So, very cool. I love little games that let you make choices. Um, one of the reasons that I love Fable so much was because it let you make choices. Although the third one sucked bot! But, um, yeah, I liked Fable because the, the, the choice ma- the choice making! Alright, anyways, next. Plenty of peace and quiet out here. Ooh. I gotta admit, though, it can get a bit dull sometimes. Good job, I've got you for company, Jack. Come on, entertain me. Options presented in capital letters with square brackets like this represent actions you can choose to take. Um, let's tell him a joke. How about a joke? Perfect. Okay, here goes. Why did the chicken knock knock? Oh, oh my god, that burp. Anyways, goddamn. Okay. Why did the chicken? Why did the chicken cross the road? Why? Uh, the police. <laughs> because it was scared of the police. You know, because it was chicken. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, Darren's not the one driving. I'm the one driving, so he wasn't going to crash. Anyways. <laughs> this is already off to a great start. Hey, you know what day it is today? Um, your birthday? It's not your birthday, is it? If it is, I swear I didn't forget. I just left your card at home by accident. <laughs> Mate, don't worry about it. My birthday is not until June. Hey, my birthday is in June, fun fact. It's been five years to the day since we joined the police. Can you believe we've known each other for five years? Uh, I kind of want to say no, but uh, that seems a bit dicky, so I'm going to go with yes. Absolutely, I certainly feel five years older. Ha, I know what you mean. Do you remember how we met? Um, oh. So is one of these going to be right and the other two wrong? Canteen. Yeah, I remember it was in the canteen back at the station. Yeah, it was my first day. Oh, so I guess he'll agree with you no matter what one you choose. Maybe that's how that works out? Or maybe I just chose the correct one, I don't know. Um, I was sat at a table by myself, and you came over next to sit to... Let me... God damn. Let me re... re bleh. I was sat at a table by myself, and you came over to sit next to me. You needed a friend. You look lonely. I couldn't leave you sitting all alone at lunch. Well, I'm glad you did. Otherwise, we might not have become partners. Oh, radio transmission. Radio! This is dispatch calling officers Glover and Price. Repeat, this is Dispatch calling officers Glover and Price. Dispatch, this is Price. We've got a report of a burglary in your area. Is the burglary still in progress? Negative. The homeowner called and said that their place had been broken into, but that it was empty by the time they got back. So we just needed to gather evidence. Affirmative. What's the address? 13 Evergreen Place. Got it, dispatch. We're, oh, wait. Got it, dispatch. We're on our way. Messed up a little bit there in the voices. Anyways, so much for peace and quiet. Ooh, we're at a house. Clicking on an interactive object or character will represent or will present you with icons showing what interactions are available. Look, talk, or use. Click on the relevant icon to perform that action. You can talk to Darren for hints. 
Okay. Doorbell. Let's ring it. Anyone home? No one home? Looks like they're not coming. House number 13. Number 13, we're at the right house. We sure are. Okay. Nice doorbell. I've seen better. Oh, the door is wide open. Okay. <laughs> Shall we go in? Let's do it. Hopefully there's not going to be a murder in here. Anyone home? What do you think the owner is? Um, Hiding? Maybe they're hiding somewhere. They could be scared. Yeah, you might be right. What about the door? How do you think the burglar got in? Forced entry? I don't know, man. I don't see any signs of forced entry. Hey, I'm going to dust the door fingerprints. You mind checking around the house for the owner? No problem. Thanks, buddy. So he's going to dust it, but I just touched it. Anyways, uh, clicking anywhere on the floor will make you walk to that location. Walking to an open doorway will make you move to the next room. You can still click on objects and people to interact with them. Okay, can we talk to Darren? Darren, what's up, Jack? Um, go for a drink. You want to go for a drink after this? Mate, I would. But I should get home to my family. You know how it is. Well, I don't really. Sorry, Jack. That was insensitive of me. You should think about it, though. Settling down, having a kid was the best thing I ever did. Hmm. What should I do? Check all the, uh, all the rooms in the house. The owner might need our help. Got it. What are you doing? Come on, Jack. <laughs> I know I'm not the best at forensics, but it should be pretty obvious that I'm dusting for fingerprints. Height. You realize you're almost as tall as kneeling down as I am standing. You realize you're almost as short standing up as I am kneeling down? <laughs> taking long? You're taking your sweet time dusting for prints. Hey, don't you have a house to check out? Okay, see you later. Um, painting? Let's take a look at it. An old man, the homeowner, with what looks like a couple of grandkids. Jesus, I've only got one kid and I can barely handle him. I can't imagine running around after grandkids when I'm old. Okay, so there's... Oh, oh, okay, we can go over here. Hat stand. I think I'll leave my coat on. It makes me look more official. <laughs> what about the wardrobe? Is he hiding in the wardrobe? I won't open. I think it's locked. Okay, so maybe, possibly, we have to find a key. Um, okay. Upstairs, I suppose. Door. Let's open it. What do we got? Oh, shit. It's dark in here. What did he say? I can't see a thing. I need some light. Oh, wait. There was a... Was that a light switch? Oh! Ooh! Okay, that, that noise freaked me out a little bit. Um, holy fuck! Uh, a dead guy. Yay, let's pick up the gun. Uh, I better take this for forensic analysis. We'll, uh, we'll send a coroner along for this guy. Items you acquire can be used on certain objects or characters. Clicking on such an object or character will display that item as an icon, much like look, talk, and use interactions. Why, uh, you know, the question I, I don't get is, why are we picking up weapons when we, are, we aren't even wearing gloves? We aren't even wearing latex gloves and we're picking up shit. Anyways, looks like the victim was shot in front Self-inflicted? Hey, you alive? Uh, he has a bullet hole in his head. Oh, just checking. That is a cruel joke. Okay, I think he's had enough. Oh, what? Single shot to the head. There are worse ways to go. No way I'm going to check for vital signs. I know a corpse when I see one. Okay. Is that it? Is that it for this rum? I think that's it for this rum. I think I have to go back and talk to Darren. Whoa! Wardrobe's open! I swear that wardrobe wasn't open before. Oh no, is Darren... Is Darren... Is Darren taken hostage? Oh, yes! He is taken hostage! Don't come any closer! I'm sorry, Jack. I was trying to stop him from leaving. Shut up! Just shut up! None of this was supposed to happen. Oh no. Um... Calm down. Just calm down. No one needs to do anything stupid. I've already done something stupid, man. Step forward. This was all a mistake. Step forward. One more step and I'm going to shoot this guy in the head. No one has to get hurt. It's too late. It's too late. Let's step forward. I needed the money so badly. 
I warned you not to come in here. No! No! Oh, I thought he was going to calm down and we could have slowly walked in. Oh, no, Darren. 40 years later, Mr. Glover. Mr. Glover? Ah, there we are, Mr. Glover. We were having a nice little nap. Bad dreams. Not really, Josephine. I was having a bad dream. Oh, dear. One of your nightmares again. You poor thing. I wish ever so much that there was something I could do to help. Is there anything I can get you to make you more comfortable? A hug? I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Glover, but after what happened with Mr. Montgomery, all staff are strictly forbidden from hugging residents. Oh, what? That is so dumb. You're not even going to give the old man a frickin' hug? He had a horrific nightmare? Are you serious? I hate this care lady now. Anyways, you know, you should really get out of your room more often. It won't do you any good staying cooped up here all day long. I'd best check on the other residents now. You have a good day, Mr. Glover. Okay, sigh. Oh, phone call. Pick up the phone. Hello? Hello, is this Jack Glover? Who are you? And I'm an associate of your old partner. What? How do you know, Darren? It's a little difficult to explain. It's better if we meet in person. There's a park around the corner from your old folks' home. Meet me there in ten minutes. Fine. I'll be there. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm going to need to break out of here. Mm. Coming soon on the last time. Oh, that's it? Ooh. Hashtag backjack on Kickstarter. Wow, that was amazing. Okay. That was a little bit short. I thought it was going to be quite a bit longer than that. But, um... Okay, so if you click on this, it brings you to the, um... The Kickstarter, they raised a total of 2,428 US dollars. 79 backers. Very nice. Um, I would back it, but I don't really have any money. I, I, I apologize. Um, wow. I would definitely pay a couple of bucks for that, though. All right, well, I'll have to check out that website or their Kickstarter when I actually... Um, when I, when I end this recording. But that was a great, great game. I really loved it. Absolutely fantastic. And I, I really don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm excited to see the full game. I'm not sure if the full game is already out. But if it is, please, please, please let me know. And yeah, if you guys want to try this game out for yourself, please check the, uh, the description. There will be a link to the download on Game Jolt. And once again, just thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!